For me, the best thing when I arrive in Vegas, the absolute favorite thing is waking up in your hotel room on the first morning and you have your whole trip ahead of you. The best thing about the first morning is you have your bankroll, you've got your plans, you've been planning for weeks, days, sometimes months, and you finally here and you wake up and you see the beautiful strip and it's waiting for you to just have fun. Today, we're gonna to do something different. I'm gonna take $300 downstairs and I'm going to film some sock play. We're gonna do $100 in each machine and then I'm gonna try and double my money and let's see how it goes. Now, the music is pretty loud downstairs. So, I will do a couple of spins with you and then I will film the bonus or if I double my money. So the goal is to double the $100. Are you ready to go? So here we go, $100 into the first machine. We're gonna play piggy banking. I hope you can hear me, this music is so ridiculously loud. Okay, I think we're gonna start off with five cents and we're gonna play 250 spin. And hopefully we'll get something very quickly. This game last night was not been very nice to me, so I've come back for some revenge. We'll do a couple of spins together and then I'll have to come back when I get a bonus, just because this music's so loud. Come on, let's get it. You owe me. <laughs> okay, I'll speak to you guys as soon as I get a bonus. Hopefully, I'll get one. So we're down to 1050. We haven't got anything yet. So we'll play the last 1050 together. Hopefully we'll get a bonus. That 100 went super quickly. A couple of spins left. That's it. So the first 100, I got 75 cents. <laughs> On to the next one. Let's see. I think I'm gonna try Buffalo Gold. I haven't played it this trip yet. Well, this trip, I've only got Camille last night, but I didn't play it. And I don't think I played it my last trip either, so let's go and try that. So 100 in, we'll play a couple of spins together, and then hopefully we'll get to bonus. Oh no, I didn't wanna, <laughs> I didn't wanna play 60 cents. <laughs> okay, I want to play $3. We'll do $3 a spin. We'll do a couple of spins together, and then Hopefully, we'll get a bonus. I need to talk over this music. Okay, let's just do a couple more together. Okay, there we go, something. $10. Okay, didn't mean to do that. Okay guys, I'll come back if I get a bonus. So we're down to 1450. We didn't get a damn thing. <laughs> I can't believe I've not got a bonus to show you guys yet. This new uh, 
slot play is not getting, <laughs> not getting very well. But this is the reality of slots. And I actually put it down to 240 to make it last a little bit longer, hoping to get a bonus to show you guys. But not to be. Couple more spins together. Last spin. Come on. No. And that's it. That's the reality of slots. <laughs> okay, on to the last hundred. So here's the last hundred. I'm going to play it in Eureka Real Blast. The major is very high. And I'm going to play five cents. And we're going to play 250 a spin. We'll do a couple of spins together like before, just because of the music. And hopefully we'll get something, at least get one bonus to show you guys, my gosh. I mean, I know it's slots, but come on, let's have a bonus for the viewers. Right, come on, let's get a bonus. Okay, we'll do a couple more together. Come on, come on, two more. Oh gosh. Oh. Oh my gosh, so close every time. Okay guys, I'm gonna come back. Hopefully I'll get a bonus. So absolutely nothing so far. We're down to $16. And we'll just play this together and hopefully I can drown out the music with my talking. Hopefully you get a bonus, come on. A couple of spins left. It has not been a good show for you guys at all. That's it. That's it guys, 125 left. So that is my leftover from $100 in your Rika Real Blast. Back in the room, back in the room. It's time to get ready to check out. I just got myself some Starbucks. You can see all my Starbucks cups from this morning. And I got myself some breakfast from Starbucks and I went to use the rest of my resort credit that I had left. Everywhere is absolutely slammed. It's so busy everywhere. So I couldn't actually go and sit down and eat anywhere. And I don't have time. Um, it's now half past 10 and checkouts at 11, but I got a late checkout for 12. So I need to pack everything up. If you know me, if you've been watching the vlogs for a while, you know, even though I've only been here one night, everything is everywhere. It's going to take me a while. And then on to the next destination. Where will that be? You probably know. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, I've just tried a what was this called? A caramel brulee latte for the first time. I tried something other than my regular vanilla latte. This is so good, you guys. Oh my gosh. I've decided to try one of the Christmas drinks. So yummy. If you've never had it before and you like a vanilla latte, highly recommend. All packed, ready to go to my next destination. My God, I don't have it looks like a lot of luggage, but I actually don't have that much space. <laughs> I don't know how John does it. He packs so well. I've really enjoyed this suite, I must say. I think when I stayed here before and I used to stay in a one bedroom tower suite by myself, it was actually too big. This is the perfect size suite for one person or a couple. Really, really loved it. Thank you, Mirage. Thank you for a wonderful stay. I didn't win, but I got lots of good times here, in, you know, in the past. And it was just so good to be able to come back and say goodbye one last time. And just like that, I'm in the taxi. The bellman helped me with my luggage. It was so sweet. I don't know if you can hear me. It's a glorious day in Las Vegas. The sun is shining. It's so nice to be in the sunshine.
at the glorious win. I say we have arrived, you guys. I have been in the casino drinking cocktails for hours, absolute hours. I am overserved. I can't even talk. And I'm just coming to my room now. It's 10 to 6, and I've been in the casino since 1 o'clock. Absolute nightmare. <laughs> But I'm here, I'm at my wonderful win. You guys, no nap. I'm so excited to be here, but look at the state of me. Oh my God, I'm so tipsy. I need to get myself sorted. I haven't even got my bags to my room. I cannot believe I've been in the casino for like five and a half hours having pina coladas and mojitos. So let me just get myself together before my bags come. And I'll chat to you guys once I get myself together. I'm so sorry, I'm a mess, you guys. Luggage has arrived. I have the great task of unpacking all of this tonight at some point. However, priorities, I've just ordered some chicken wings from room service. I can't even go back downstairs. The room is spinning, you guys. I'm gonna have some chicken wings. I'm gonna take my makeup off. I'm gonna get comfy. I'm gonna eat chicken wings in bed. You know how I do. This room is just so luxurious. This is the first time I'm staying in the renovated wind room and I absolutely love it. I didn't think I was gonna like it because I really like the old style, but this is really nice, very cozy. So, that's where I'm going to be with my chicken wings. I will show you them when they arrive. So I'm in bed. I'm about to finish my skincare in bed. And oh my gosh, you guys. Oh, why? Why did I stay and drink so many cocktails for hours? Why? I, I went to bed early last night. Well, I say early. I went to bed about was it midnight or half past 11, something like that. And I didn't actually get a good quality sleep. I only got a couple of hours of sleep. So today has been quite the struggle. So I'm feeling it now, I'm really feeling it. So I'm going to finish my skincare and I'll show you my wings because they've just arrived. Oh, all I got was wings, ow, 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 it's hot. <laughs> They look tasty. So many for just one person and some buffalo sauce. I've got some water. I'm actually watching a ridiculous marathon on TV right now. So this for me is absolutely perfect. This is perfect for me. You know, everybody comes to Vegas for different reasons, my event. I just wanted to come and just to have some self-care time, some me time. And the whole reason for my trip is I'm actually celebrating 20 years of coming to Las Vegas. I came to Las Vegas, it's actually next week, it's December 2002, 2002, December, I came for my first trip. So it's my 20th Vegas anniversary. So that's why I decided to come it was really, I, it was like hit and miss whether I was going to come, but I managed to get my flight with Miles. I think I told you that yesterday. And so it's like a super budget, just using up my comps, you know, for the before the year ends because I made platinum at win. So I thought, why not? It's in my birthday month. You get the birthday celebration dinner. It's $150 and you get the birthday free play. And I've got my M Live comps. So I thought, why not? So that's what I'm doing enjoying me time in Las Vegas. I'm absolutely starving, I'm slurring my words. I'm such a mess tonight. But if you enjoyed watching this vlog, please, 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 I can't ask you enough, please will you give this vlog a thumbs up because it really does help my channel. And you know, even though I'm here on my own and I'm relaxing, it does take a lot of time to do the vlogs for you guys. So I would really appreciate it if you showed me some love and hit that thumbs up button. And please say hello in the comments. I love hearing your comments. I love just, you know, communicating with you guys. And if you're not subscribed, please make sure you subscribe too. 
and I'll see you tomorrow for another Vegas vloggity vlog. Good morning and welcome to a new day in the Vegas vloggity vlogs. As you can tell, I'm in my hire car. Yes, I picked up a hire car and it's now 7.30 and I'm going to drive myself to the welcome sign to go and take some pictures and some b-roll for the vlogs and I'm going to take you with me so let's go. I can't really film the driving because I'm on my own but I'll film when I get to the sign. It's a glorious day here in Las Vegas. The sun is shining. It's not too hard. It's crisp and fresh. So let's go. <laughs> First task done, the drive here to the sign. It wasn't too bad because it's pretty early. But I will say that the sign is very, very busy already. It's about 10 to 8. So I should have come earlier. I have the hire car for another two days. So I can come, I need to come early, I think. And I really wanted to come for sunrise, but I was messing around this morning in my room but yeah let me go and get some shots it's pretty loud out there so I'll try and vlog out there but the road noise and um, the airport noise is it's pretty loud so we'll see morning of the day after. It's so loud, I don't know if you can hear me. Now on to my next mission. I'm very adventurous today guys. One task done. Now I'm going to be driving further than I ever have. <laughs> when I hired the car here in August, I drove to pick the boys up from the airport but after John arrived that was it no more driving for me so I'm really still very nervous and I'm gonna test myself now because I'm actually heading off the strip and I'm hoping to drive to Target at uh, Blue Diamond wish me luck I am um, I'm getting hungry soon it's 8 o'clock Target's just opened. I just need to pick up a couple of things. I say that, you know, it's Target, we'll see. Here we are at my happy place. My car is over there. I need to show you guys the car I got. I got a Jeep Compass. I drove myself to Target, to Blue Diamond. Never in my wildest dreams did I ever imagine that I would do this. I'm so excited. <sighs> My happy place. First stop, Starbucks, of course. I'm actually on the hunt for the special Christmas cup. I actually want the gold one. I see they have the red one here. These are the cups for Christmas. They're really nice. $19.95. But I really, really, really want the gold one. I don't see it here. to try different Starbucks. I needed to pick up my mascara. I love this Maybelline Sky High mascara. I always used to just use the Too Faced Better Than Sex, but this is just as good and it's only $9.99. I love it. I also needed an eyebrow pencil. I am planning on going to Sephora later today or tomorrow, but my eyebrow pencil broke this morning before I could use it, so I need something like now because my brows are looking crazy and then I need to find my liquid eyeliner I 
don't see they don't have a really big makeup section here but oh here we go let's see if they have it here like I love the physicians formula um, liquid eyeliner is it this one but they don't have black they only have brown oh no they do absolutely love this stuff and then I could really do with oh here we go this setting spray is the one I'm using right now and it's great you guys it I mean my makeup stays on for hours and it's really cheap 9 49 I love this stuff and I've just run out so yeah just a couple of like emergency makeup pieces that and I've got a wonky trolley <laughs> it's so nice and quiet in here though because it just opened Target's always quiet though no matter when you go it's always quiet because they have so many the luxury of having Starbucks where you not Starbucks the luxury of having Target where you live I actually need some painkillers let's go let's see what they have down here just need some regular ibuprofen I did bring some with me that I bought um, when we came last time but it was the ibuprofen pm oh my gosh it made me so drowsy and with the driving i can't have that mini target run complete can you believe i got away with just one bag i think i was quite restrained but it was a lot of makeup so it was like not a lot a couple of bits and it came to just under 60 dollars with the poor exchange right now it's not like it used to be but um i came with two cases that were not full but they weren't exactly empty so i really have to be mindful of buying big items i don't have as much room as i thought i would have so that's why i want to come back to target when i've made um when i've packed properly and then I can see exactly how much room I have. I don't want to be panicking at the last minute. But here's my car, guys. Perfect for three days. And it just makes such a change to be a... It makes such a change to be in the winter compared to August. Oh my gosh, you guys. August was ridiculously hot. Like every time I got into the car, I was just melting. This is the perfect temperature. I think it's about, let me see. I don't have the temperature on right now, but I, I think it's gonna be about 17, 18 degrees today, which is absolutely perfect. I mean, the sun is warm, there's no wind, the sky is blue. What more can you want? So I was hoping, because here at Blue Diamond, there's like quite a few shops and there's an in and out right over there behind me and i was hoping to get in and out um for like lunch breakfast lunch i really fancied an in and out burger but they don't open until 10 30 and it's only nine o'clock so i don't think i want to hang around here for another hour and a half so i'm not quite sure what i'm gonna do i do need to eat though i've been up since 3 a.m um I was up early washing my hair, blow drying my hair and um, just taking my time getting ready this morning and all I've had is coffee all morning so I really wanted a burger but I don't know we need to look look at somewhere else to eat but I need to stay out of the strip until 11 because 11 o'clock that's when town square opens and i did an online order at bath and body works while the sale was on i didn't buy a lot but i have to be mindful of the size of the items i just mainly bought um hand soap foaming hand soap 
everything else like i have so much bath and body works from the summer in florida oh gosh i must have at least have like 10 candles and loads of like shower gels for from matthew john and myself so i was just running low on the foaming hand soap and i wanted christmas ones so i did an online order when i was drunk now i have to pick it up but they only open at 11 so i need to get something to eat and then go to town square I might pop into Sephora. I need some blotting papers. Oh God, terrible. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my God, guys. I just, I got distracted and I just popped into Dollar Tree. I just thought, let me go and see if they have any Christmas ribbon because when we came at Christmas last year, it was too late and they'd already run out. And I did, I got some lovely Christmas ribbon and something super embarrassing happened when I came out the store. <laughs> I walked up to the wrong car and tried to open it, pulled on the handle and tried to open it. And then I looked inside. I was like, oh my God, this is not my car. <laughs> and my car was the next row over. <laughs> so I'm so glad that the car alarm didn't go off or the owner wasn't nearby. I just quickly scurried to my car and I've got in. <laughs> right. Well, it's still an hour. Before in and out, I'm gonna have to give up on in and out and go and get breakfast somewhere else. I think I'm gonna go to Town Square and see what's around there for breakfast. So I just took my life in my own hands, and I don't know if you can see how busy that road is there. <laughs> but I crossed like four lanes of traffic because I saw McDonald's on the other side of the road because I cannot wait to get to town square before i eat i just cannot i'm absolutely starving and a mcdonald's breakfast sounds good right now and i am desperate for the loo as well so quick pit stop before we get to town square change of plan i just went inside that mcdonald's because i was desperate for the loo that was probably the dirtiest toilet that i've ever seen in all my trips to America. It was absolutely disgusting. And I just thought, nah, if the toilet looks like that, I can't eat there, no way. So, I mean, it doesn't look like it's been cleaned for weeks. Um, I'm going to try and find somewhere else to eat. I've decided to make a little detour and see if I can get something to eat here. I'm here at the Silverton Casino Resort. I have never been here before. I've always wanted to come and check it out when I've been with the boys, but we've always run out of time. And I can't believe now I'm coming here without them. I need to remember where I'm parked for sure. Okay, so the hotel tower is there and I'm over there because, you know, Kimmy will lose her sense of direction when she comes out of here. But um, I'm just gonna go and check out this tree this Christmas tree it's absolutely huge and it's such a glorious day it's so nice to walk around oh and the entrance is right here too okay okay I know where I'm going now what an adventure we're on today guys gosh went to the grossest McDonald's ever and now we're at the Silverton everything happens for a reason Look at this beautiful Christmas tree. It's absolutely massive. I don't know what kind of food they have in here, but um, they have a buffet. So let me just show you this tree. It's absolutely massive. It's so beautiful. And you can have your photo taken there. Wow, I think before I leave, I'll go and get my tripod and maybe come and get a photo. So nice here. Okay, so I don't know what the deal is with filming in here. So I'm gonna switch my camera off when I go inside and then check it out first and see if I can film in here. So here we are at the Silverton Bass Pro Shops over there. I definitely have to come back with the boys. We always wanted to come and check it out. And you know this mermaid 
restaurant and lounge. If you've ever watched um, 90 Day Fiance, I'm almost certain this is the same place where, oh God, what's his name? Colt took his Brazilian 90 Day Fiance for a date and she wasn't very impressed. I'm almost sure this is the same place. It's so beautiful. Okay, let me go and see what I can get to eat. There's a food court here. And there's a buffet. I'm not sure if the buffet is open. We'll go and check it out. The way it's going, I think I'm just gonna end up having a Starbucks. There's Johnny Rockets, but they're shut. So the only thing that looks like it's open is the Starbucks. Let me see if the buffet is open. The buffet's over there, but I don't know if it's open. Let's have a look. This is such a nice, like, local casino. They might have some of the old games that I used to like to play here. Uh, might have to check it out after I have something to eat. There's a Mexican grill cantina over there. Let's have a look. Oh no, the buffet's closed. Oh, that's a shame. I wonder if it's temporary or if it's permanently closed. Maybe they're redoing it. Oh, okay. Well, Starbucks it is. So that was a quick pit stop at the Silverton. I had Starbucks, coffee and donut. I had that uh, caramel brulee latte again. It is divine and it's so nice and sunny. And I've just, I just saw the mermaid too. So my timing is pretty good. The mermaid in the aquarium, <laughs> the kids are loving it. So now I'm going to go to Town Square and my timing is good because it's five past 11 and they open at 11. So I'm going to pick up my hand soap. And I just remembered that I have a free birthday gift as well with Bath and Body Works. If you guys are from the UK, if you don't know, you, um, you can sign up to the Bath and Body Works rewards. Um, I just use like an American address and phone number. It's not mine, it's the hotel, just to use it to sign up. And then you get points for every dollar you spend and you get a free gift for your birthday as well. And they're always sending you lots of discounts um, and, you know, just rewards. So it's worth signing up. So I'm going to pick up my parcel and then see if I can get my free birthday gift. <sighs> I want to stay in the sunshine forever. <laughs> Just find my way out here. Guys, I don't know if you can hear me. I have you on my GoPro and I have you stuck to my window with a sellotape. <laughs> I bought some sellotape in the Dollar Tree to tape my GoPro to my window. So at least I figured you could come with me. But I don't know if you can hear me. I don't know if the angle's any good. And my GoPro has like 9% battery. So, and I don't even, I've got my sat nav, but I don't even know if I can go this way. I'm just figuring it out and remembering to, to um, drive on the right. I will have to review this footage when I get back to the room and see if it works. If it works, then I will take you along for the drive tomorrow. Turn right onto Dean Martin Drive. Because I actually forgot my suction for the GoPro, you know, to stick it to the window. I forgot it at home. And um, so I just used some cello tape. But I figure if it does work, it'd be really good to take you along with me on the drive and I can just chat to you. So I don't know what it's filming or what angle because the viewfinder is now gone up on the GoPro. And if you can hear me, oh my gosh, you guys, it's so warm. 
I actually need to put the aircon on, but then it's too noisy in the car for you. Who would have thought that it would be so warm? It says it's 46 degrees um, Fahrenheit. That's what it says in the car. However, it does feel a lot warmer. So the Silverton was really interesting. It's, um, you can tell it's definitely like a locals casino and um, they had a lot of the old games. My gosh, I think 60% no let me get that right i would say 40 percent of the games in there were buffalo all different variations but mostly like the old style buffalo and then the other 40 percent was like video poker and um it was pretty busy in there there were lots of there were lots of families right i need to concentrate now so going over the i-15 now you can see i hope you can see this um on the gopro i don't know if it's picking it up but you can see the strip in the distance to my left there's signs here that it says going to salt um salt lake city to la so i don't want to get lost and end up in utah or in california And if you're driving in Vegas for the first time, if you're a newbie like me, you got to keep your eyes peeled because let me tell you, the amount of people that um, run red lights here, wow. And they drive so fast. So I've just got to cross this next bit, which is I-15 North, and then the next big traffic lights. I turn left onto Las Vegas Boulevard. Now the roads are really busy behind me. I just came to Town Square and I came to pick up my Bath and Body Works purchase and then obviously I had to buy something else. An offer for any um, purchase, I could get a free body care item. So I got some um, moisturizing body wash and then I got that free and so all I bought was um, a wallflower, the plugins. I have a plug that I got years ago. All the plugins were only $2.95 today so spent $2.95 and then got a free gift and then I picked up my foaming hand soap. Two was out of stock so I only got four which is probably a good idea because I actually bought some a couple of other things as well in my drunken order. So I'm coming to you from the top of the parking garage at Town Square because the view of the strip is gorgeous. So I want you to get some footage uh, for the vlog from this um, viewpoint. And also, if you're into plane spotting like me, Town Square is such an amazing place to do some plane spotting. And I've often thought that it would be really good if I could get some shots of the planes from this parking garage. So I saw I missed a couple of planes taking off, but I'm gonna stay for a few minutes and then hopefully I can catch a few planes and um, yeah, just enjoy this amazing view. Sephora purchase made, uh, all I needed was blotting paper and they, I love the Sephora one because it's really good value, but they didn't have it. So I got the Tatcha one, which is a bit more expensive. It was like $13 for 40 blotting papers. It was quite pricey because I think the Sephora one, gosh, I think it's like $6, but anyway, I needed some. And um, I got my birthday gift, so that was good getting all the freebies this trip that's what this trip is all about is just getting the free stuff and the comps you guys honestly i just love town square if i lived in vegas i'd be at town square all the time john you'd be broke <laughs> so finally finished here and then i'm gonna go back to the win 
because I need to have a nap tonight, you guys. I am so excited. I have a special dinner planned, dinner for one, and it's somewhere I've not been before. So I'm super excited and I don't want to be tired. I want to be well rested for my dinner tonight. Tonight's my last night at the Wynn. Tomorrow is moving day again. We're just moving around. It's a very short trip with lots of moves and lots going on, just grabbing those comps. But yeah, I'm excited. I won't tell you where I'm checking into tomorrow just yet. First, enjoy the night at the Wynn. Made it back in one piece. I had to park all the way at the top of the parking garage because it's so full. All the lower levels are full. Vegas is so busy, you guys. Honestly, look at the view of the Encore. But let me get my bags to my room. And now that I'm finished driving for the day, I need a cocktail. Back in the room, back in the room. I can't believe it. I was so looking forward to coming back and for my room to be made up. I left the privacy sign on while I was out. Oh, so I'm so annoyed with myself. I thought, oh, I'll come in. My room will be all done. I can have a relax. <sighs> Damn it. I'll have to go down to the casino <laughs> and wait for them to finish my room. But um, what was I going to say? So I made it back. Traffic was a bit crazy. As I said before, it's super busy. There's a lot of police at every, like, um, intersection. There's been police at every intersection on the strip, so I don't know what's going on. But also, I need to do one last bit of shopping, and that is a small little Christmas present for John from the gift shop, because I'm checking out tomorrow, so I want to get it now before I forget. And then, Kimmy needs to get her cocktail on, because... I've been driving all day and now I'm not driving for the rest of the night. So I think a cocktail and then like a relaxed mini nap before I get ready for my dinner tonight. Tonight I'm going to SW Steakhouse. My reservations for 7.30 and I'm so looking forward to it. I'm so excited because I've never been before and I'm going on my own. So it's a belated birthday dinner for me. Guys, I had a nap and I overslept. And I've had like five minutes to get ready. So I'm running a bit late, but now I'm making my way to dinner and I'm wearing this Zara dress, this Rouge dress, and um, these new Zara shoes. And I'm really, really, really looking forward to my dinner. So let's go to SW Steakhouse for my belated birthday dinner.
the room, back in the room. Guys, I have finished my birthday dinner at SW Steakhouse. Oof, I am overserved. Too many cocktails and so much food. I'm stuffed and ready to take these lashes off and ready to take this face off and get into bed and just enjoy my last night in this glorious wind bed. I just want to thank you so much for watching the vlog today and joining me on my little adventure. Just a huge thank you so much, you guys, for all the love and comments and likes on Instagram. I've really enjoyed sharing this trip with you and it's been a really good trip so far. Today was such a huge achievement for me. I know that I hired the car before in August, but today really was testing myself driving off the strip and um, I really enjoyed it. I will say that I can't see a, a solo trip in the future. I can't see me doing it without hiring a car. I just enjoyed it so much. So yes, thank you to you guys. Cheers to you. <laughs> I'm going to finish off the last of my drink and I'm going to get ready for bed and tomorrow it's moving day. See you tomorrow. Thank you guys. Mm -hmm.